Patrick, the unusual suspects. Again, good use of space. Again, not having to feel like you have to paint every square inch of the painting, but allowing these, these soft areas just really supports the main interest of, uh, of the subject. Let me zoom out. There we go. I love the, the face on this guy. It's just so funny. Good job. Good job, Patrick. Patty, Patty. At the end of the day, again, great use of, of the, the warmth and the coolness for the, the limited, again, limited palette of warm and cool and the interplay of that warm and cool in, in, the, in the architecture of these shapes. Um, confident strokes, really good. Good job, Patty. Peter, bridge at sunset. This is a beautiful piece of, of uh, again, complementing the, uh, the soft treatment of the sky up against the, the detail of the, um, of the structures. Strong vanishing point, good use of, of actually three point perspective in that um, he didn't create all the verticals straight. You know, he used, you know, um, like a three point perspective to really create a wide angle shot of this, of this piece. Uh, great job, Peter. Verana, aloe blooms. Uh, Look at this piece for uh, some of the detail in this. Um, exquisitely painted. And then the design uh, element of it, again, this dark shape supporting really and setting off the, uh, the two, two centers of interest. But this closest one right in here takes, uh, takes precedence. And, uh, and really sets that, that one off. Great job. Look at this, this one. This one, for some reason, it reminds me of, of um, Irving Shapiro's paintings. Uh, believe it or not, Irving Shapiro was my teacher at the American Academy of Art and he, uh, he loved painting boats. And this one has a lot of boat flavor in it. Uh, so this one is a, uh, again, really good distribution of darks to the lights. Almost abstract feeling, but very free and, and, uh, and exciting. I love this one. Rebecca called this one Nature's Beauty. Beautiful piece, Rebecca. Uh, again, soft treatment of, of the darks and the lights and then operating within this middle value is, is you know, the main subject. Great use of texture on the, on the leaves. Good job, Rebecca. Another Rebecca Bounty, this one is called. Get the whole painting there. Uh, and again, look at the use of, of soft, subtle background, out of focus, and uh, beautiful executed fruit and bird in here. Uh, great job. I love the color scheme on this one too. You know, the cool, cool greens and the and the cool reds works works really well. Shirley's Army Dock. Again, let me zoom out. 
to look at the uh, the overall shape of this dark area that really supports the light. Um, big big white space right in here really is claiming the attention. Um, and then you have these little islands of light just exploring the various details um, within this piece. Good job. Good, good job, Shirley. Shoe, this is the color. Again, really good abstract piece here. Um, look, at, look at it for the, again, the distribution of, of cools, big cool shape in here, nice lines, uh, good diagonals, and then the overall pattern and uh, rhythms of, of light that are operating through it, throughout this. Um, look at these abstracts for just that, the rhythm of light and dark, cool and warm colors. Because um, the painting has to work in the abstract first uh, before it works in the detail. and, and she certainly has the detail in here. Good job. Stephen, the day is done. Good warm pat uh, color in this one. Um, again, good overall light source coming in here, hitting this, uh, this table. This is very, very difficult to do in watercolor, this, uh, this, these light rays. Uh, good job, Stephen. Susan's, let me zoom out on this one. Look at this rainbow effect that she's created in, um, in the greens, the reds, and the blues, and then the secondaries, the purples and the, and the yellows, the pinks. Um, she's called this life in full circle. And she's given us a full circle of uh, not only subject matter, but also in the in the rainbow effect of, of the green, blue, and red. Um, good job, Susan. This is a very beautiful piece. Sylvia's monumental morning. Let me zoom out so you see the whole thing. Um, Great. This is is uh, monuments and statues are are difficult to to pull off in that um, you're you're generally create uh, creating a painting with limited palette and it's it's the uh, subject is uh, pretty much monotone. But she's she's given us subtle sh shades of color, reflect a lot of reflected light. Um, good use of the the value back in here, this uh, light to middle value, good quiet areas of sky. And then she's given us this, these darks and lights, the high contrast for this main subject area, anchored by this dark area right down in here. Great job. Thomas is forget me nots. This is a beautiful piece. If if you guys can look at this, um, that's the whole piece there. But the detail on this one is just mind-boggling, as far as uh, looking at all the little details. Oops, sorry, all the little details that are in this. From bells, the buckets, the fish. Look at the reflected light on this on this foam um, from the bucket. Great job, great job, Tom. Gee, I love this piece for um, for the light that it it just conveys. It's just a uh, a beautiful piece of of. Um, 
and this is this is very difficult to do in in any any painting but the shadow of this tree up against this building is just exquisitely painted. Uh, it's just uh, a beautiful piece, uh, the, the plant, you know, communicating with the window. Um, and then look at the softness of these, uh, this textured background. Exquisite piece. Homecoming. Great job on this one. Um, kind of a low key painting, dark, but very, very good use of, of the of the light on this one. Uh, let me zoom out. Well designed as far as the people is concerned. And then the centerpiece of this is the portrait of this person. Um, let me zoom in on some of this. And again, nocturnes in watercolor are probably one of the hardest uh, things to do. Um, and this is well executed. Great job. And Z, I uh, don't know the name of this one, but again, beautiful piece as far as uh, creating the softness of, of the background, limited painting, uh, beautiful, beautiful execution of, of texture and then that supports the portrait. Um, again, good breakdown of lights and darks. Good job. Good job, everybody. So that, that concludes the, uh, the review of the, um, of the painting.